So we just did a fuel filter in Casper here on GNC, but because it's summertime cleaning, I'm gonna go and do a couple of things. So the beloved starter bracket that goes on the front, I have one that is actually stamped from a 6.2. It's ugly, but it is an actual GM bracket. So what I'm gonna do is flip the camera around, show you this bracket, and then see if I can't crawl into the truck and maybe show you where it goes. Because to my surprise, Casper doesn't have one and it hasn't for who knows how long. So we'll turn this around and I'll show you what it is. Here is the starter bracket. Kind of a dinky looking thing here. Um, this actually was on a 6.2. And it does have a part number scribed in it from GM. So it's definitely been around the block. So this is going to fasten to the engine block like so. And this loop, this eyelet, will go into the starter. So I'm going to try to crawl under here. And I'll fire up the footage and try to show you where it goes on the block and on the truck. Of course, I just drove this because I'm trying to use it. And I'm finding out that the starter has started to make its little whizzing sound as though the bolts are loose. So I'll go ahead and crawl under here, see if I can't show you how this goes. And now everybody can at least see, this is the, the infamous starter bracket that acts as a brace. It is important. So let me crawl under here. All right, it's almost impossible to see, but it goes on a stud on the end of the starter. The starter I have in Casper miraculously does not have said stud. The provision that you see in the engine block right there, that's all full of dirt, that's where the bolt would go. It's an M8 by 1.25 thread, and that's what you use to fasten said bracket to the engine, which then goes to the end of the starter. At some point, I have an extra engine at the farm, so what I can do for everybody is possibly see if I have a core starter flop it in there and show you guys how it lays but i just wanted to point out that if you have a 6.5 and the starter's making strange sounds and things aren't quite right chances are it doesn't have that bracket the other thing is you want to check and make sure that these two bolts are gm bolts because otherwise or arp in some cases people do replace them um, if they're not you're going to find yourself wanting to purchase a pair of starter bolts otherwise you could risk breaking them off in the block I check the tightness on mine basically every 15,000 miles or less, and I'm actually gonna do that today. So I just wanted to show everybody that is the infamous bracket and it does go on the end of the starter and no, my starter does not have a stud for it. So now you know. Thanks guys.